Lucky, lucky. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been in the market for a new dash cluster for my Fox body since my factory one is malfunctioning. Now I was going to go with Dakota Digital, which is a $725 dashboard, which is, again, not really a huge issue. I mean, I don't want to pay that kind of money for a freaking dashboard, but it has so many features that I was interested in anyway. It was like, I, right, you know what? I'll go for it because it is what it is. But uh, that was something that I was going to purchase. I actually purchased it and uh, found out it was a made-to-order item. So I had to wait four to six weeks for it to get here. But in that time frame, I ran across a coder who was going, not a coder, but a tuner who was going to help me tune my car. Because, you know, I got hit with the whole, you're spending too much time with your car speech from my wife. And once you get hit with that, it's... It's decision, it's decision time. So I decided to go and get a tuner to help me out with my tune. I'm going to do a whole review on him in another video. But he is partners with this particular person who creates these dashboards that are directly linked into the Mega Squirt ECU. Which blew the, um, the Dakota digital dashboard out of the water. Not only because it plugs right into the, um, the ECU that I have in my car. But it's plug and play. I only got to run like two or three wires and I'm done. If you go look at the video on the install on that Dakota Digital dashboard, it's a nightmare. I was not looking forward to that build. I mean, uh, that install. But that's what I was running across. That's what I was going to do until I came across this. So let's unbox this and show you what I got. All right. So I am in the box now and I want to show you what I have, which is... I guess the quick start guide, because that's what it says, quick start guide. Ooh, I'm so excited. So we have this, which is, um, it's literally only two pages. Like, look, look at this. Look, look, look at this. It's literally two pages of information. Can you imagine how many pages I would have had to go through to install the Dakota Digital one? It's absolutely insane. Again, it is what it is because it's not designed specifically for the Fox body. I guess it's designed for other um, whatever. I don't know. But this particular thing here, because this is just plugged right into the ECU. And I guess because the ECU is plugged into just about every sensor you have on the car. So maybe that's why it's so easy to take care of this one versus the Dakota. So I'm not going to shit on Dakota's, you know, whatever. I was going to buy it, but I'm not going to shit on it. But this is the packaging. Is uh, these... I hate these things. I, these things get every... I cannot... They suck. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with that. So, it's in like a ton of bubble wrap, which I'm freaking loving. Oh my God. So, uh, I know this thing is going to be intact. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he did run some wires for me that are special ordered. I think uh, my, my tuner decided to hook me up with that. Because he said, I'm going to have him do a couple of extra things so you won't have to worry about it. So, he went ahead and, I think, I think, wired up my turn signals. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. So, you got the uh, the dash cluster, which is actually a computer, by the way. This is a computer. This is far superior to the digital, the the, the um, Dakota digital, because this is actually a computer. You can search the, search the web with this thing. You hook it up to Wi-Fi, and you can search the web. So, this is far superior and it's a little bit cheaper. However, I'm not shitting on Dakota Digital because that's what they designed it for. Whatever. This is designed for something completely different. Anyway, so I also went ahead and got the uh, the little keyboard that goes with it. Uh, I don't know. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. But uh, he, I went ahead and purchased that so I can go ahead and type whatever I have to do. I got a couple of wires. That's all the wires that came with this, guys. Those. That's all the wire. 
This is going to be so much easier than that other one. I, this is all the wires, really. That's insane. And um, other than these stupid ass popcorn things, that's it for the box. I also got something else from whomever. I don't know what this is. Uh, let me open this up and see what this is. Hold on one second. All right, Frost Alarm. This is actually my wife's turmeric, so this is not, you know, for this build. So whatever, or this install. So uh, let's open up the dash or the cluster. Let's open it up. Oh shoot! Now, why am I so excited? This is this is insane. I mean, he did. I mean, this is pretty much bulletproof. I don't even know where to start. Okay. He went all out on this packaging, bro. Look at all this packaging. He's making 100% sure that this doesn't get damaged. For those of you who might be interested in this, this uh, dashboard or this dash clutch, I should say, which is, I shouldn't even say cluster, it's a computer. But who, if you're interested in this, like, dude, he, 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 it's, it's fine. It's not gonna, it's definitely gonna survive transit. It's, it's taking, taking me a lot to get into this thing. But, uh, yeah, so, there you go. There's the dashboard, all right? And I'm pretty sure this is a film that protects it, yep. So there's the dashboard, all right? Boom. Digital dash EFI. Yes, you, yes indeed. And I think these are the, what are these? I don't know what these are. So the film just came off. And as you can see, this is in fact a computer monitor so this is pretty much going to be literally just plugged right into it now i actually have my uh um whatever you call this thing here because i went ahead and flocked it for those who may care so i went and flocked it so it, it was just sitting because i'm not i didn't install it back and let's just see if this fits right in there uh, i think that's how it would fit Something to that effect. Uh, okay. I'm having a little problem here getting it because it's not, you know, it's supposed to just slide right in, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. But you guys get the idea. That's how it was supposed to sit in the dashboard. My tuner said he was going to help me pretty much design the thing to my own specs and what I want it to be. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably do that. And, uh, you know, with, you know, it'll probably take us a couple of days, but you'll be able to see it just like that. But before I do, let me just tell you this thing. All right. So what I'm noticing is this looks like this is 3D printed. Uh, for those who might give a damn about that, I can care less that it's 3D printed. A lot of stuff is 3D printed, so that's fine. But this is three, it seems like it's 3D printed. And if you want to like fix this stuff with the, the ridges and stuff, because it's going to be ridges, ridges with 3D printed, I don't know what they call it, spider ring or something or other. Anyway, if you want to fix this, you can do that with Bondo and a little paint. I don't give a damn. I'm not going to do that. But at the end of the day, this is not what you're going to be focusing on anyway. You're going to be focusing on the screen. So, uh, yeah, this part seems to be 3D printed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like it is. It's still freaking sturdy. I don't know what plastic he used. There's like several ones you can use. Uh, it doesn't seem like this needs to be the uh, top of the line plastic as long as it's sturdy enough to hold this in. Who gives a damn? But uh, so that's it basically for this part of the video. Um, I'm going to probably either do a part two or just mesh this one, the other one with this particular video. And it'd be one big video. I haven't decided that yet. Um, I'm a little drunk, so <laughs> who cares? But uh, yeah, this is the dashboard and it looks absolutely amazing. So I've had this computer for about four days now installed. And I gotta tell you, this was a solid purchase. Um, I'm really, really pleased with the design. I'm pleased with the quality. I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's absolutely worth every penny that you pay for this thing. Um, he sends everything you need. The GPS comes with it. The, uh, um, the, the keyboard is sold separately, but it's only 20 bucks. Who cares? Um, but yeah, he sends everything you need with this thing. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this was a very, 
Very good purchase. So, uh, let's talk about a couple of cons, however, because they are cons. Um, only one, I should say one con, and that is probably just because of my year of Fox body. I'm not sure, but I'm, this is what he says that this particular dashboard was designed for the 86 to 93 and the 88 might have a different dimension when it comes down to the uh, bezel. So I'm not sure if that's fully accurate. I'm taking his word for it because you might have the same issue. I don't know. I mean, you may very well have the same issue, but it's not flush. Okay. And when I say it's not flush, hold on, let me see if I can switch this around. Uh, can I flip it? No, it's not flipping. But uh, maybe you can see it. I don't see it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, well, maybe you can see it. But you see how this is not flush here? It's just not flush. It's the This is wider than the bezel. Um, so that's about the only thing I have to gripe about. Because it's not flush with the bezel. That's it. It's a small design flaw. That's it. The rest of the damn thing works. If you wanted to fix that, you can. You can go in there, you know, cut some plastic up and you can do whatever the hell, glue it and you can make it look whichever way you want. But that's it. That's all I see that's wrong with this damn thing. Other than that, you have a scent. I told you how sensitive this damn horn is. I barely touched it. Anyway. You have a solid sound computer sitting in your dashboard and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to go in your house, I'm not sure if I said this yet, but if you want to go in your house, jump on your computer and go into, you know, Microsoft Paint. I have Adobe Suite, so I'm going to do something way spectacular with this thing because I used to design websites. So this is my this is right up my alley. But uh, if you wanted to, you can go and create your own dashboard. And put it up here. You want to watch net? You want to see naked pictures every time you every time you turn your car on? You can do that. It's a freaking computer. Do whatever you want, hell you want with it. You could not do that with the Dakota Digital dashboard. You can't do it because all it is is a freaking cluster. So uh, with that said, um, I'm going to end this video because it's already long as hell from start to finish. It's probably I don't know 15 minutes long. I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, but. This is an excellent purchase for those who are rocking a Mega Squirt DCU. If you are on the fence for getting this dashboard, don't be. Go ahead, pony up the ponies. Pony up the ponies. You know that, right? Pony up the ponies. Get this thing, because I'm telling you, you're going to be very satisfied. This is Gary Lim signing off. You guys have it.